everyone, thanks for joining me again on Pranam Adol Beauty. So I'm going to be going over a little bit about my hair, but really concentrating on the favourites that I found for my hair care during 2013, because it was a big year for my hair, uh, in the fact that I had finally tried the keratin smoothing treatment. I actually two, tried two types. I'm actually going back for my third or my touch-up later in the month, and that's when I'll do my final overview of all that, that sort of treatment and how that's sort of going and decide what I want to do with my hair because my hair's also changed colors during the time. I've gone from chocolate uh, blonde, ashy blonde, ended up going a little bit too orange. I've had low lights put back in my hair to help sort of blend um, in a base color and then I'm just going to decide whether just to go chocolate and then maybe just have a few highlights or to go lighter again. So it's really an ongoing sort of process, a learning curve. I've had sort of breakages, I've overdone it, I've tried different toners like beige gold toners to keep the beige in. I've tried the purple tone to take out the brassy like if I wanted to go more ashy blonde. So it's been really interesting. So I have had fun sort of doing it and obviously it's been very costly but it's the first time I've done this sort of thing in years. So for me, my hair is naturally coarse, curly, or wa very wavy, very thick hair, very heavy. At the moment, I've got it uh, straightened. I've got the you either um, blow dry, and I, and I found probably the best is those really thick bristle, natural, natural bristle brushes. Um, just the medium size round brushes, then uh, blow dry, and then I can smooth it out with a hair iron. At the moment, I'm enjoying the Cloud9 hair iron, which I got. I did a review, um, as you, I'll, I'll post a photo up there, but I'll put a link down below to that. And then also, because I've been pretty much hopeless at trying to curl my hair, I've tried different methods, which kind of sounds funny. Like, I have naturally wavy curly hair, and then I straighten it to curl it, but to actually have that control. So just really from three three quarters of the way down or just a halfway down, just a couple of um, soft waves, I got the VS Sassel, uh, Sassoon Curl Secret. I'll uh, put a photo there and I'll put a link down below to that sort of post I did on that. So I have been enjoying that. So those are two different favorites for me and obviously the keratin treatment, I have found it pretty much of a success in helping smooth and control the frizz in my hair. So that would definitely be a favorite. But like I said, I'll wrap that up in my, after I do my touch up later on but as far as products that I have thoroughly enjoyed and some misses we'll get to those now so for my hair because it's been keratin treatment they obviously recommend sulfate free shampoo you should really use sulfate free shampoo anyway so it's not stripping your natural goodness or keratin from your hair so these are the conditioner and shampoo I've been using and it a little goes a long way this is the for the damaged hair it's a luxury treatment conditioner and uh, the shampoo so they're infused with uh, tri-protein complex, argonaut, jojoba, and macadamia oil. So I have loved those. And this smells really good. I, lo I love all, all of the tricovetic. Mm, it's just like a nice, fresh sort of smell. Also, uh, the first treatment that I got was the tricovetic keratin smoothing treatment, which I'll link down below. That was the first one I got. That's pretty much where you wash it out. They'll put it in. It takes a good three hours. For my, my hair, it took a good three hours, but I also got the... Um, the highlighting done that day I got a full head of foils which they do recommend if you're gonna do highlights not I suppose a lot of damage to your hair to do it on the same day so what they do is they'll do all those highlights first then they'll put that treatment in uh, and then uh, that's washed out on the same day whereas I did the guava latino treatment when I was due to do a touch-up so say three to four months later you get it done again uh, and it's supposed to get sort of smoother and less frizzy each time and uh, the Guava Latina one's one you leave in for three days, so that's the one I tried there. And I'll link um, a post that I did about that there. So I have loved those that whole range for the damaged hair. I also tried this hair and scalp shampoo, um, sort of more mm -hmm. sort of helped to balance your scalp health. This one though, uh, she was actually using it on my hair because it was a little bit dry, obviously from all the bleaching and that going to my hair. But this smells. Oh, like peppermint it's that strong peppermint like that after dinner mints that you know that that peppermint that's what it smells like and it smells gorgeous I have found though it started to make my hair a little bit oily it does have tea tree oil nettle and peppermint oil and sage so it is to help nourish your hair um, if you've got any sort of dryness going on but I found it, it actually sort of worked sort of best sort of uh, halfway down if I was just sort of washing that and just using the normal sort of shampoos so I found it sort of in the end I would prefer uh, this one uh, which has the the keratin it does have the Jehovah argan and macadamia oil but I didn't find it made my scalp sort of 
oily or more oily because it is naturally oily um, but I found if I used it sort of down the ends of the hair it just left it feeling soft and it had that beautiful peppermint smell um, sort of during the day so this is something I would wouldn't use every time I was washing my hair it'd be more every third time I'd wash my hair I'd use this if I wasn't using it in conjunction with something else uh, as far as a treatment I really love this one this is the charcoal revitalizing treatment by ph perfect here uh, and like i said a lot of charcoal based treatments are good on masks if you have really dry hair like mine or you're doing a lot of um, color treatment to it so it's quite damaged but they say get ones that are sulfate free so this it's a bit messy because i left it silly silly enough i left it in the shower so i won't i'll just show you what the lid is it's gone a bit runny when i repurchase it but it's like a purpley um gray like a charcoal color and it smells okay. It smells actually re like really sweet. So it's not, don't think it's going to be ooh yuck. But it's, it feels good. It just feels like a thick conditioner. Uh, so you just leave it on your hair. It's up to you. Like, it says 10 minutes on any damaged areas and rinse. I can do 5 minutes and it's still nice and soft. And I'll, this is something I do maybe every second to third time as a treatment. Or just once a week. Depending how often I was washing my hair. Uh, now going over to stuff for brassiness. For brassiness obviously with a lot of the blonde um i really wanted to, uh, a lot of the tones that i got i was using the ones that they have at the salon so if i wanted to go more beige i'd use their golden toned ones if i or hued ones if i wanted to be more ashy i'd use any uh purple toned ones and the one that i wanted for beige kept being out of stock and i thought it doesn't matter i went and grabbed this one it's the john frieda sheer blonde color renew this is the mousse i'll just show you so it's just like a mousse but it comes out that violet tint to it and what you're supposed to do is you can use it on damp hair or wet hair and then style it so it gives you that volume and control like a mousse does but you it's also supposed to cut down any brassiness now it, it didn't matter how much I used of this I could not get it to do anything to the brassiness like it, it did literally nothing it's like I was just and then then of course my hair would be like bogged down with all this mousse and it gets sticky tack and it just I'm not a big fan of mousse uh, anyway I'm not sure why I ended up trying it it was just a it looked good and I thought oh I'll give it a go I was warned by my hairdressers not to try it because they said it's just just too hard to try and get a balance on it and get it to work but I didn't listen so <laughs> what I've been using recently is just a, a typical blonde shampoo this is by Celique and this one has been going really really well so I got it at the end of 2013 it's been fine so I would definitely recommend just a good a good blonde what full blonde shampoo your purple ones to sort of get it more ashy like my hair's going more brown ashy and then if you are wanting to go more of a, like a yellowy beige but not brassy you can go for um, beige toners so obviously go into maybe a hair sub a supply store beauty salon or something to sort of work out what is best for you and what you want to achieve but I'm more wanting to go more more cooler more ashy and and sort of chocolatey the next thing as far as of leave-in treatments I really love this one this is the T-Rex Italia shine color uh, locking leave-in conditioner so I got this at David Jones definitely a big splurge out there but when something that was shining hearts and when I was in there and I was uh, like talking to then what to do with my hair because it looked a little bit dull obviously all the treatments that I've got uh, it's just sort of so much has been done to it and obviously with my hair being naturally black like it's very very dark uh, all the stuff that gets to try and lighten it because it goes from you know, to, to get goes you know red and then the orange to get to, to blonde whereas if it was a little bit lighter there's not so many steps or phases that the hair has to go through to get like whitey blonde or, or blonde so I needed something to give it a bit of shine, and this has been really good. Uh, so this is a low pH formula to help close the hair cuticle, and it also has keratin in it, which is good. So they just get something with keratin in it, and it's been good. So I normally just, uh, on damp hair, I can put it down here and leave it in. On dry hair, it's been fine as well. It doesn't make the hair tacky. It doesn't add any extra texture. I don't need extra texture and it smells really good that's the whole thing with me as well with things that are going to be sitting in your hair and if I'm wearing it down and I'm out a lot of the time a lot of my fragrances don't get picked up but people will pick up the smell of what's in your hair it's really weird but it smells great it's like a really nice light sweet smell which is what I like and it says time release shine molecules and keratin protein keep it radiant all day long but it does it just gives a nice natural shine to it so it's not shiny doesn't make it feel greasy or anything and like I don't really use it really around the roots it's just halfway down sort of the hair and it just gives it a nice bit of shine next thing is this being this David Babai Baboy 
blowout rapid blow dry spray like I definitely love my oh what is it the um the heat tamer how can I not remember I'll put it up here I used it for years I love that but um, I wanted to try something different and this ended up being two to three times the price of that so I had high hopes for it it's just one of those it's like a hair spray thing you, you shake it and just spray it and you can use it on dry hair to style it um obviously on wet hair and then you, you dry it as usual so when you're um round brushing it to blow dry it or when you're putting a hair eye on it and actually it's good it didn't leave it feeling sort of frizzy or fuzzy or anything like that and what i love the most about it though is it actually smells like um margaritas it has that coconut pineapple scent to it so it's a really funny so when I'm, I'm wearing it during the day it just i get that waft of you know like sitting on the the sun deck drinking uh, malibu not that I actually get to do that. Did I say Malibu or Margarita before? Malibu. I meant Malibu, like, you know, the pineapple rum. No, the ru coconut rum and then, you know, pineapple juice as you do. But um, it does, the only thing it is, it's full of, chock full of other rubbish. But it does have kiwi fruit extract, um, jojoba oil, primrose oil in there, bamboo stem, uh, stem extract. So it's got a fair few other things. And I didn't use it all the time. I could use it with my um, conjunction with my heat tamer as well. And then I'd use this maybe the second time. But every time I used it, I just love the smell and how it sort of made my hair feel. And it didn't sort of bog it down at all. So it was good. So that's that. As far as other tools. Um, now, Tangle Teasers. I've got the original Tangle of the Tangle Teaser. Like the really expensive one which I would call it my script and then I've got other ones you can pick up for a couple of dollars depending where you go this is the Tangle Tonic I've got another one I can't remember the name. put it up here if I can remember there's lots of different versions of this out there ones that claim to be the better of the of them and all that apparently this was the original not 100% sure but it was definitely the, the priciest and they say when you store it store it like that so it's not or in, in, in something so it's not squashing those bristles honestly they all sort of feel pretty much the same and give the same effect this is a little bit softer though or cushiony than some of the other ones out there but really gives the same effect so when your hair's dry dry it, it, it's it's fine to untangle it but when it's wet particularly my hair goes really really tangly and a lot of the hairdressers have problems when they're trying to um blow dry my hair because like when it's still wet, slightly wet or damp it just goes into that natural curl and it's really tangly so um i need something to help work it through so it's not snapping my hair obviously because it is a little bit damaged so these have been really really good i actually prefer this style like a lot of the other ones i've seen on the market have this style little paddle which I think is just a lot more comfortable this one kind of just reminds me of those horse brushes or there's those lint rubber lint brushes that you can get uh, out there for like corduroy and all that um, I think this actually looks a little bit better and, and classier than this one even though this is about a third of the price but that's just me but I love those and definitely a standout with my hair because it can snap it's thick and that I've been trying to find a really good hair tie that doesn't you know tangle in my hair snap lasts a long time over, over time they do eventually snap because my hair is just so thick I have broken combs and hair brushes in my hair and I do not exaggerate but these ones these are the Lady Jane no snag I just go for the brown obviously at the moment with my, with my hair tie two and they're good I get oh, I can't remember how many is in a pack now but a fair few and they're just nice and stretchy and what they work, I can get about two to three times around my really thick hair which is great for me so it, it, these are really good really good not too thick and, the, and they're, they're nice and uh, what I normally do um, is when I go out I keep they come in these little packs like it's a little box and you've got this little um, seal pack in it so I actually keep the little seal pack and that's good so I normally have a couple in my bag like these ones just in case you know it happens to I need another one I want to or I'm out and I want to put my hair back so I, I like that just a nice little touch and then they're, they're pretty good you're fairly easy to get like some supermarkets uh, Target I'm pretty sure came out big W as well there it's not hard to get uh, Lady Jane again which is a good thing as well and some pharmacies uh, so that's pretty much 
summing up my favorites for the hair care I will actually be holding a hair care giveaway so that's my next thing for 2014 once I've wrapped up all of what's happening with my hair and where I'm going from there is I'll have a hair care giveaway of some of my favorite stuff from the thing oh I did forget one thing sorry without fail I always forget something I was thinking I had it. the oil the oil this is one the luxury argan oil treatment that I got when I first did the um, keratin smoothing treatment for my hair this is the one they recommended obviously because it's what part of what they sell it came with the line but it's actually been really good um let me just screw out the what I like about it is slightly thicker than some of the um, argan oil ones that I have out there, which is good because I find they just get everywhere. Uh, and this sort of, I find tacky, it st st stays in the hair, but I can f sort of work it through a little bit better than sort of ending up all over my hands. So it's got the argan kernel oil and macadamia seed oil. And it smells just slightly fruity, just very, very slight as well if you're curious about it. But yeah, it's just just nice. So thanks for watching my favorite hair care. Let me know down below if you have tried the hair can smooth and treatments uh, and if you have found those posts useful, what your favorite hair care has been in that. Thanks for watching.